Welcome to Dragon's Den, home to five deal-hungry multimillionaires ready to back the right ideas with their own cash. And first up, Alex Savelli and Finn Lagan, an Anglo-Italian pairing who are hoping to deliver an authentic taste of the med to British dining tables. Our product is superior to any other product one can buy. It's it Italianita, Italianness <laughs> on a plate. I think the dragons will love what we're doing, and if not, we'll eat our hearts. <laughs> will the dragons dish up a deal, or will Pasta a la Chef's hat be the order of the day? Buongiorno, buongiorno a tutti. Grazie per averci avuto oggi. Io mi chiamo Alex Savelli, e qui con me c'è Finn Lagan. We are here to talk about pasta evangelists, and I hope you're all hungry. We make the best artisanal fresh pasta in the UK and deliver it to your homes. We are here today to try and convince you to become partners in our company, and we're offering 2.5% of the equity of our business in exchange of £75,000. We started the business roughly 18 months ago, and we have sold cumulatively more than 22,000 portions of pasta to more than 4,500 customers across the UK. We launched subscriptions three months ago, and you can subscribe for a delivery every week, every two weeks, every three weeks, every four weeks. You choose a frequency. It's easy. We have simple to follow recipe cards. Each dish takes on average about four to five minutes. In fact, it's so easy, we think even Deborah can manage to cook it herself. <laughs> That's a challenge. <laughs> Listen, we're excited. The business is doing very well, and uh, we're preparing a dish from my hometown. I come from Genova in the northwest of Italy. And we're having a panzotti al sugo di noce, which is a filled pasta with walnut sauce. And we hope you enjoy it. Buon appetito. Hoping the dragons will want a portion of their pasta home delivery business are Alex Savelli and Finn Lagan. We did our first survey of our customer base, and the final question on the survey was, will you reorder with us? And 96% said they would order with us again. Lover of La Dolce Vita, Deborah Meaden, is one more who appreciates their pasta product. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. I love pasta. This tastes fantastic. So you That's start from a really good place here. But I have to say, you have a startling valuation. Valuations go up when you've got real barriers to entry. So when you've got something really special, we are the only way you can do this. We can all buy nice pasta. In fact, my husband makes the most amazing pasta and pasta sauces. So what have you got that I couldn't go out tomorrow and say, I'm going to get a maker of this, I'm going to get the best of this, that and the other, I'm going to pull it all together, I'm going to brand it, and I'm going to do a subscription model. So, I mean, to be honest with you, this is a a uh, food and beverage brand. We haven't got IP around the product. You, you could copy it, absolutely. Uh, but all the recipe creation is in our hands. Yeah. So every week, we have six new dishes. So this week, literally, we had mafaldine and calamarata pasta. I mean, no one in the UK has ever heard of calamarata. Uh, the panzotti, the maloredus, bucatini, taglierini, Profit. Keep going, it just sounds absolutely <laughs> lovely. But that's the point. That's my version Brits. of speaking Italian. Spaghetti, carbonara. <laughs> but that's the point. Britain loves Italy. Mm -hmm. Italy is the most beautiful, romantic story in the world. It's a colossal market. So what your plan is, is to own a space that at the moment is not being occupied by an outstanding yes. producer. I and mean, we want to be the authority in pasta. The entrepreneurs allay Deborah Meaden's reservations about copyability with their product list of premium pastas. Peter Jones now wants to pour over the finances. So, in terms of the money, how much money have you put into the business to start it? So, to date, we've raised uh, £500,000. And have you got enough money to keep the business going, or do you need to raise more money? We, we will definitely need to raise more capital. How much? So, at the moment, we are working on a fundraising round of £1.7 <coughs> million. Pounds and, uh... Sorry. No, no, sorry. <laughs> that, that's... I didn't say anything. That was just shock. <laughs> wow. Um, 
And so you're going to get to profitability after that 1.7, is that right? Or are you going to raise again? We'll probably raise again. Uh, so you won't get to profitability after 18 no, months? I don't think so, no. Well, our, our plan indicates we'll, we'll break even towards May of 2020, so two years from now. The pasta producer reveals his business is hemorrhaging cash. A disclosure that's brought Tuka Suleiman to boiling point. You heard the expression, OPM. Other people's money. Yep. You're taking money from other shareholders so you can lose it. You are predicting to lose £2 million by the year 2020, correct? It will be probably more, more than that. More than that? Yes. It'll probably be around three million to three and a half million. <laughs> but that's how long it takes. That's how long it takes to take a, create a business which could be turning over 40 or 50 million pounds five years from now. That would be a unique asset and unique brand in the food space.